welcome everyone so today we are going to solve a percentage question now the problem over here in this question is that there is a root involved there is a root involved and then there is a percentage inside the root okay and we need to find the value now the another problem over here is all these values are given in terms of percentage itself okay so like always i'm going to tell you the answer straight away if you have figured out the answer is 30 then you are good to go you are absolutely correct okay if you have not figured this out then please stick around i'm going to explain you why this gets confusing and why people do not know how to solve this further and also even if you have figured out i want you all to please stick go ahead at the end of the video and check the diy question at the end i'm going to put up a diy question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section okay so now let's understand how do we solve these kind of questions see please understand any number any number with a percentage sign you can write it in the numerical form by nothing but what putting or dividing the number by 100 okay this is very very important for everyone to remember okay now here you have what nine percent so obviously nine percent can be written as what nine upon 100 the whole thing under a root now this can also be written as what nine upon 100 the whole raised to half okay now there is another law of indices which you need to remember when you have a upon b the whole raised to any index you can split the index or you can split the index with the numerator as well as the denominator okay so since we had what 9 upon 100 the whole raised to half okay this can be said as what 9 raised to half upon 100 raised to half so this is basically root of 9 <coughs> sorry upon root of 100 i hope this is very very clear to everyone now another thing what people think is root of 9 is equals to plus minus 9 no that's not right please understand when you take a root of sorry plus minus uh that's my wrong answer wrong which is uh plus minus 3 root of 9 is plus minus 3 now please understand if this number itself was a positive number how how in the hell that answer we can get a negative right that's absolutely wrong okay please understand you can only only have this equals to root of 9 equals to plus minus 9 this can only happen if it is equal to any variable because in case of variable we do not know whether it will be a positive value or a negative value only and only in that scenario this plus minus thing exists but if the root of only a number and that number inside the root is positive then in that case you can directly say the value is nothing but just 3 i hope this is very very clear to every one okay so coming back to our question we can now say that we are taking root of 9 upon root of 100 basically root of 9 upon root of 100 so as we know root of 9 is nothing but what 3 and root of 100 is nothing but 10. So your answer comes out to be 0 0.3 but but unfortunately your answers or your questions are given in terms of percentage. Okay so whenever one very important thing you need to remember any number when you want to convert it in terms of a percentage all you have to do is use multiply a with 100 or that number with 100 to get the percentage value so like i said that here we got the value of this entire question to be 0 0.3 but since we want the answer in terms of percentage what we'll do is we'll multiply 0 0.3 into 100 okay now here also people get stuck 0 0.3 into 100 you know some people do not understand how to shift the decimal places so here also i'm going to show you a very easy method of multiplying okay decimal especially you can just write this in terms of fraction so 0 0.3 is nothing but what 3 upon 10 because why one stands for the decimal point and zeros number of digits after a decimal point will be the number of zeros written in the denominator so here there was just one digit so we just wrote one zero and then you multiply by 100 so this gets cancelled 
So this fin finally gets you the answer as 13%, which, like I said, is the answer for this particular question. Okay. Now, like I said, we have the time for DIY. But before going ahead, I would like to remind all of y'all every single day, every day, without missing even single day, I'm upload minimum two videos. Okay. And in those videos, normally there are tricks or there are sums. Okay. And these sums are those which are normally coming from y'all only. Either y'all mail me at my email address, which is nothing but what fast and easy maths at gmail dot com or you all put it in the comment section but i request all of you all to please mail it because you know there are so many comments coming so sometimes it becomes difficult for me to you know cater to every comment given okay so here in this case i would request if you can email me but if you can't you can just put it in the comment section i will definitely try to make a video for you or for your particular problem as well okay so now like I said, there is a DIY. So the question for you is tell me what will be the answer for 0.49%. Please let me know. Okay. Uh, one very important thing you need to remember is the answer for this one should also be in percentage form. Please let me know. So know the answer of this one in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.